Like it's even like it's even colored. I've got some cool shading on there and everything. Like, Ooh, I'm, I'm excited to see it. It's it's pretty it's pretty relevant and like dope boss if if I do say so myself. Is deep dope? Uh, I wouldn't say deep dope, but at least like I don't know, regular like, dope. Regular dope, like mid level tier dope. Um, it is a moderate amount of dopeness. Yeah, um, yeah. It's relatively. It's, mo- it's, it's, it's relatively. Uh, anyway, um, would you like to go live? I mean, yeah. I'm assuming that you've already unmuted us. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah that you did that thing where you just unmuted us already, and we're just we're here. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty much the entire time I was talking about how deep dope this this art was, uh, we've been unmuted the entire time. Pretty much. Uh, pretty much. You know what? Okay. I I I assumed correctly. You did. You Ha-ha. did assume correctly. Um. Anyway. Sometimes I know things. Hello, everybody. Welcome to welcome to stream, everybody. Welcome. We're live. Mario, no. We're live. <laughs> um, here for art requests. If you're wondering why we look different, I'm not going to tell you. Um, <laughs> uh, one word, Crewember. Crewember. Crewember, which is still going on for two days, um, technically, legally. Legally speaking, it's still technically Crewember for two days. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're live. Um, and I'm going to draw some art requests for you and pretend like nothing's wrong. Uh, <laughs> that nothing is different nothing, at all. Nothing's different. Um, if you guys, if you guys must know, um, my picture is from a Sears photo shoot anywhere between the ages of two and four. I don't know. Cause I can't tell human baby ages. Um, but this is a picture that I cut carefully cropped my sister out of, <laughs> you know, like a, like a good <laughs> sibling. Matt, you want to tell us about your baby picture? There's a picture of me as a child playing with a bunch of pots and pans on the floor. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. Anyway, here's my warm-up art of Luigi about to stamp Mario on the back and going, I'm a sorry, I'm a Mario. I should put it am I? Ah, but the Mario, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a, a sorry. It's gotta be I'm a, a sorry. Uh, Red saying Baby Wazzy looks like the little girl from Full House. I don't know if that's an insult or not. I don't know if I should backhand you across the stratosphere for that shit or not. You that get slapped. Rude. That sounds rude. Let's look at some yeah. art requests. Yeah. Nocturnal Blade saying, uh, how have you two recovered from the mega stream, Miss Bow and Blue Pajama Boy? <laughs> hey, fuck you! I'm adorable. Back in the olden days, Sears had a had a section a, like like a little fucking photo section, and you could go and get a dope background. Uh, in this case, it was I think it was like a brown background with some cool lasers on it, like school photos, but for babies. Um, yeah. And apparently, every time I went to see my grandparents, they did this because there's an uncomfortable amount of professional photos done like this. Um, yeah, you, they just yeah. like they liked you face. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's what happened. Oh, anyway, I like this one. I'm gonna take this art request. Do it. Uh, it's for cockroach Dracula. <laughs> cockroach Dracula. Cockroach, cockroach Dracula. Dracula. Um. But yeah, how are you all doing today? How's that yeah. Mario movie treating y'all? You yeah, because Kakashi was actually asking, what did everyone think of the trailer? I can't completely say Chris Pratt truly isn't trying. He really isn't. I really don't think he is. Give me a movie where he did try. Um, I feel like in the beginning, in the beginning he tried. I feel like Guardians 1 was like the last peak Chris Pratt movie. Oh, uh, Lego Movie, the first Lego Movie. Oh yeah. Yeah, he wasn't bad in that. I don't actually know too much what a cockroach looks like, because I've never seen yeah. a cockroach in human life. Um. Uh yeah, that's true. We have I've never actually seen one in person. It's nice. So I don't actually know uh, what they look like. Yeah. Uh, Icy Jane saying, "Fun fact: My uncle went to college with Chris Pratt." Uh, Snake saying, "You look like a serial killer, baby." Picture Wazzy. How dare you? Uh, so the fun part about this, um, if you guys look, 
uh, I'm gonna see if I can. If you guys look at this side of my face, um, you can see how it's kind of like whooped weird. If you look like that, when I came out of my mom, I came out wrong. Um, I was smushed in there. That's a way to word it. And this side of my face was really fucked up, and that's why I think I'm like no more than two in this picture, is because I hadn't it hadn't grown out and fixed itself. Not saying it fully fixed itself, but like it's it did. It's kind of noticeable it... here. There's another baby picture I have where it's really fucked up, and I was gonna use that, but I couldn't clean cut it, so um, I didn't use that one. But just so you guys know, you can see. Also, my bangs are far too short, so I'm gonna blame that on my grandma. My bangs are way. <laughs> look at look at how much fucking real estate there is in between my fucking eyebrows and the start of my bangs. Everybody, look at that shit. Yeah, it's not that probably, not a lot. That probably that probably started my complex for having an ugly ass forehead. Thanks, grandma. <laughs> yeah, fucking grandma. <laughs> God All right, damn it, grandma. Anyway, Let's see. what was everybody's opinion on the Mario trailer? Yeah, let me scroll back up. Okay. Um, Sorry. what is Mario not? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, why does Mario not know what he's doing? Why is Bowser trying to get Mario? I don't understand. He just seems like a normal guy. And since when is Mario human? Mario's always been human. You you think Mario's not human? What? When is Mario not human? Other than when he puts grabs a weird thing and he transforms into something different. Uh. Let's see, uh, Breezy says it looks like a Mario origin story, like we needed one. Well, yeah, because we're we're setting up for the Mar- the M the MCU, the Mario Cinematic Universe. Can I get Can I get a Smash Bros. Cinematic Universe? Yeah, it's gonna be called the Mario Smash Bros. Universe. I don't want it. You know now that the- now that now that you now that you said it, I don't even want that. You know like- the Mario Smash Bros. Universe. Like. Time to sound old timey, but uh, you leave my video games a, alone. You don't want a you don't want a movie version of Undertale so that it can set up for when Sans joins. You don't want you don't want Link and fucking um uh you don't want Link, Mario, Donkey Kong, uh, Bayonetta, and Marth sitting in a fucking falafel shop and all of a sudden uh somebody's like man i we sure showed uh that hand a thing that was almost a bad time and then you just hear like a uh, and like the words come up and it's like did someone say a bad time and they all turn and it doesn't show the character but you just hear like the soft melodic m- melodic notes of do 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 do, 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 do. Set it up to the next that. movie. I would Set hate it up that to the so next much. movie where Sans Undertale comes in. Could 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 you not though? Could we just not and say we did? Yeah, like that. You know what? That sweet melodic bulk of Lavania. Thank you, Heckle Jack, for that. <laughs> Good time no, on I, that, I, bro. I never want that. <laughs> also, uh, we have a hydrate and a fake fact request. Well then, I can do those things. You don't want you don't want Samus and Link back to back in that epic scene where a- a- fucking Samus goes, "Huh, Link, are you fighting too?" And it just turns to Link, and he just goes, "Yeah." Okay, you know, that would be great, though. You know that that classic that classic see, movie scene. It's funny that you say that because Breezy said, "Okay, but I'd love to see Link or Samus on the big screen. I would love to see Samus on the big screen, but I don't think there's any way they could make a me- uh, Metroid movie right." And I hate, as much as I love Metroid, there's no way they could get it done right. But Matt, what about the baby? Ah, the baby, no, the baby, the no, baby, the baby. there was just a bingle in my ear. Is Captain N going to there be was a big, that a MSCU? Bedangle. Oh, God. Fancy, fancy. Fancy is... You technically is, just up to the counter. Even though we're not going to get to the, get to it in two days, still. Thank God. <laughs> but yeah, uh... And, but yes, thank you for, 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 yeah, for subscribing for 12 months. That's a whole year. Jesus, fuck. You've been here a long time, Fancy Fancy. <laughs> that's, a whole, that's a whole lot. That's a uh, I also like how they're trying to jam all the Mario franchises together. Did no one see the Mario Kart reference? Oh, yeah, no, the Mario Kart references. What do you mean, Aren't... did no one see it? It was like a good 20 seconds of the fucking trailer. Anyway, here is your fake fact. Ahem. Did you know the word November comes from the Latin word not vendor, which sa- stands for no sale. There you go. 
Mr. But then why why Black Friday then? Well, because that's a modern concept. Latin didn't uh, have suppose. Black Black Friday. I'm just yeah, it's true. The Latins didn't do that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, that's their jam. Uh, scrolling back up. Uh, uh, wait, you've never seen a cockroach? I mean, I get Canada's cold, but really? Yeah, I've never seen a cockroach. Yeah, and also Alberta, like. Like to uh, Dra- Smalley said, have you ever ever uh, have you ever heard of Alberta? Literally, that's why. What's in Alberta? Is it edible? <laughs> it's 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 Alberta. We're we're relatively chilly. I mean, there is cockroaches like in smaller towns and the like, but like I've we've never had a cockroach in our home. Uh, Alberta has no rats. Like yeah, full stop. I've we just don't never, have rats. I've never seen a a human rat either. Well, I've never seen a human rat either. I've never seen a rat rat. <laughs> like, Oh, I mean like a rat in human life. Oh, like a rat. You've never seen a rat IRL. Yeah. You should probably call it that and not say I've never seen a human rat. Because that's <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. You've seen <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, I guess I have seen a human rat. and Goddamn, was it terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Breezy also saying uh, uh, Bowser Luigi shippers won today. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, everybody love wins. <laughs> <laughs> let's see um sorry let's say uh peach is not the video game plot device to make cake and get kidnapped by someone with actual brain cells so she gets kidnapped by cranky kong yeah and like that's better honestly yeah honestly no peach with a fucking halberd that's great <laughs> listen sometimes you just gotta kill a man yeah, sometimes you just got. Sometimes you have to be a bit of a despot. <laughs> like, mm. sometimes you must be a cruel ruler. Fancy, fancy saying is Captain N going to be in the movie? I really fucking hope not in this I fucking Smash not. cinematic. Oh, he might come in the Smash cinematic universe though. I can't wait for the Game and Watch movie. Man, that's going to be a very artsy film. No, no, no. That's going to be a. Uh, that that's gonna be a TV show on Paramount Plus only. Mm, you're right. I was so wrong. Fuck! I'm really trying hard to draw Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> a Dracula? Oh, an iconic wants you to save. Oh, thank you, iconic. Yeah. I have. Reezy saying, "I wish my girl Daisy was in the trailer." Yeah, that'd be great if if she was. At least mm-hmm. Pauline was. I didn't. I didn't catch Pauline. Uh, Pauline's in the background when there's uh, the city. Pauline's just so is Funky Kong. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of characters coming in. I'm saying it. I'm calling it Smash Cinematic Universe. They've got Sonic. Sonic's I really out don't there want now. this. Sonic's out there now. Fucking. Also, Sonic does canonically travel between worlds. Yeah, Lonk's coming next. You know. I don't. Like once again, I love Legend of Zelda. I love Metroid. I do not think they can make a good movie of either of those. I legitimately just I don't think a good movie could be made of those. Mm. Mm. I think you're wrong. Here's how the Link movie goes. All right, are you ready? Boom! Smash cut. Small girl sitting sitting sadly by an ocean. She goes, "I wish the people would come save me." Smash cut. To Link waking up in his underpants in a fucking coffin going, what year is it? And then he coughs for a minute and just goes, yeah. And then, and then he gets out and he runs out into the wild in his underpants. Smash cut. The the title comes up. Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Ocarina time mask. Uh, he goes into cracks. Th- he cracks. <laughs> he 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 walks into town. A small child gives him a mask and kicks him down a well where everything's the same but different. He gets a fairy, and also this king comes up and is like, "Ah, hundred years ago, you saved the fucking city. Don't bonk me. I'm getting into this." Um, he, Please bonk her. She's getting into this. He's, he's like, he's like, you got a uh, hundred years ago. You, you, you kind of saved us, but you kind of fucked it up. Do a better job this time. And then they fucking, they, he goes to this tree. Don't bonk a Levania. Uh, then he goes to a tree. 
And the tree's like, you were born without a fairy. It is because this is Navi. They're now your fairy. You got to go get an ocarina. And then he goes to town and there's a girl and she's all like, my dad will wake up. Here's a chicken egg. And then he gets a chicken egg. Smash cut. Ganon laughing in the desert. Smash cut. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> It's for the best that you don't. Also, like, I'm just saying Pete Davidson is Link in Legend of Zelda. No, no. <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, Breezy Media said, how dare you? Pete Davidson is Link. <laughs> specifically young Link. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Breezy's saying, that, this is a Breath of the Wild uh, recap. So basically just all the Breath of the Wild cutscenes. Yeah. Legend of Zelda movie does not need to exist. Please stop speaking even to evil into the world. I'm just a little guy. Excuse me. I am just a little guy. And there I'm can be more than one little guy. I'm telling you. This is what's going to happen. Starring Jared Leto as Ganondorf. I hate you. <laughs> Why must why must you say words, Wazzy? <laughs> no, don't don't give us Jared Leto fucking starring, the... starring Rob Schneider as Tingle. He doesn't deserve a, cur- a career starring anymore. Starring Adam Sandler as Teen Link. I'm going I'm going to unalive you. <laughs> You don't want you don't want Happy Gilmore Productions to make Link. <laughs> I would rather shove a uh, toothpick under my toenail and kick a wall. <laughs> like, and now that I said that, my foot hurts. <laughs> ah, fuck! No, Breezy saying Danny DeVito is Tingle. I'd mm-hmm. get behind that. Uh, Mark Hamill is Skull Kid. Eh. And you guys are saying, do it, Matt. Go get another egg. <laughs> oh, attempting to egg Wazzy and it failing terribly. That fucking hurt, everybody. Oh, that does not shock me that that hurt. Also, Darko Stars wants you to stretch. Ah, oh, okay, fine. I'm doing it, but I'm going to complain the entire time. You shouldn't. It's good for you. Starring. Although, Iconic saying, it's Dorphin time. Starring. Humble Dumble Cumble Bumble as the king of Hyrule. Oh, I don't like that either. That's not a good casting. That's a bad casting. Starring uh, David Tennant as the voice of Navi. No, no. Uh, no, the one the one good fan casting I ever saw from Metroid was, uh, I think, Brie Larson as Samus. Oh, Brie Larson would make a pretty good Samus. She'd make a very good Samus. She's she's one of the few actresses that's out there right now that I would say if they needed to get a big name to be Samus, she's the only one I could say would be acceptable. Also, hello, Miles. Hi, Miles. Starring The Rock as the tree, as the great Deku tree. Yeah, Kakashi, you're saying it correctly. I hate it here. This is the bad place. What are you talking about? This is the great place. This is the great I, place. Uh, iconic saying Betty Straw's Q-tip patch as the king of Hyrule is too real. Um, fuck. Um, I'm trying to think of her name. Give me the name of a character she's played. I could probably tell you. Hmm. That one girl from... I, this is going to sound bad, but all I know her from is Riverdale. Oh, yeah, that's, that is... A, that is bad. B, ah! I don't know any actor from Riverdale. Ah! Ah! It's only because I watch shows that are like, what the fuck is wrong with Riverdale? Starring, oh, yeah. starring Vanessa Morgan as, as fucking as Zelda to carry it. Because you have to have one actor that's able to carry it. <laughs> I, well, the Mario movie is doing the exact opposite, where all the actors are carrying Chris Pratt. Also, we have a swear timer. 
But then uh, Miles immediately ended the start timer. Yay! Thank you, Miles. Yay! Oh. Okay, so it is just Discord where I can hear you in the background, but Discord, I did not hear a word you just said where you said, thank you, Miles. Mm. 57. So your Discord's screwing up. Uh, I, I can only hear you half the time. Really? I'm sorry. It's okay. But I, I, I'm just sitting here. I'm like, is Wazzy just being really quiet? No, I'm talking all the time. I'm talking about everything. Also, ramen. Fucking ramen being here for 57 months. I don't know how long that is, but that's how long I've been streaming. And uh, also... Fi- also, we're one more away. We're one more closer to feet picks. Yeah, that we're at six eleven now. Technically, one more closer. This is uh, your own fault, Robin. If, quick moment. If I have to get your feet picks, Robin, this is it's all your fault. <laughs> so I had to quickly ban that. <laughs> I was like, I'm in the middle of banning, and suddenly Robin's like, fuck you, bot. <laughs> <laughs> no feet pics for you, bot. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone's saying hi, Robin. Yeah, because 57, you're three months away from five years of subbing. Man, I've been streaming for a long ass time. Yeah. You'd think I'd be better <laughs> by now. Uh, so I said, wow, Matt beat me by a second. And Breezy's just like, Matt, sniped, laser eyes emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I love the laser eyes emoji. Like, legit, Breezy. Love that shit. Uh, also, Snake asking you, Matt or Wazzy, who would voice Kirby in the Kirby movie? Tom Holland. Daniel and he would do a- Radcliffe. See, either of those would be halfway decent, because Tom Holland at least puts half his ass into voice acting. It's just, um, sometimes you just gotta put half your ass into voice acting. And no, this is, a, well, this, is, this is my complaint about a lot of things lately, actually. Yeah, like that. You say you say you it's okay to put half your ass into voice acting, and yet the discussions we've been having about voice acting lately say the exact opposite of that feeling. Oh, I gotta look them up, fancy. But I will do your request, fancy. I just gotta look them up because I can't exactly remember what they look like. I remember there's the little redhead. I remember, I, I, they have names and backstories, actually. The entire anti-Isekai squad has names and backstories, but I can't remember what they are right now. I remember one of them is Jux. Yeah. Which um, is short for juxtaposition. I find them. Where are my girls? Girls? My girls. Uh, Miles saying, ba- question, baby pictures or sock images? Uh no, these are these are baby pics. These picks. are real human baby pictures. I had to go Did deep you... into the files to get them. I mean, I know it was like five hundred subs ago that the baby pic PNG stream was uh, put up, but like, it was there. It was. It was eons yeah. ago. Uh, Dave Batista as Captain Falcon. Okay, all right, okay. I could... I'd say yes, but I feel like... Oh, no, no, Dave Bautista has the exact amount of charisma required to be Captain Falcon. Uh, uh, Tom Holland is Denji, and Kakashi Miyazaki saying, no, absolutely not, illegal, no live-action Chainsaw Man. Yeah, yeah no. They can't do a live-action Chainsaw Man. It wouldn't without, look good. Without There's... an aggressive amount of CGI. Yeah, at which point, why make it live action? Why bother? Also, I don't know if anyone else has watched uh, today's episode of Chainsaw Man. Man, some of that I forgot happened. I need, uh, was it? I, I don't know about you, but I need to go reread the manga. Yeah. They sure did chainsaw them men. Yeah. Uh, I see Jane saying they uh, they can do a live action One Piece, so it's like, is anything off limits? Live action One Piece why is an they, accursed concept. Yeah, why would they do a live action One Piece? That sounds like yeah. the worst thing you could do. That sounds like a waste of time. Like, no, just don't. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, Mad Quacker says hydrate. Fuck you, Quacker. I did it. Snakes. Snake saying uh, John Cena is Joker in Persona 5 Royal. No, no. Put my foot down there. No, you're not allowed. 
I mean, on one hand, you'll never see him coming. On the other hand, no. You can't see him because you'll never see him coming. Yeah. That, oh, and Ace says stretch. Man, you guys are making me do things today. How dare you make me do things on my day off? It's not even my day off. But if it was, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, live action stretchy powers will never work. Breezy's saying they did a live action Lion King, nothing is safe. Yeah, but freaking Disney doesn't count. Disney ruins all their own IPs really well without prompt. Like, Disney just wakes up in the morning and spins this big wheel and is like, ah, what will we ruin today? And 80% of it is their own anima- like TV animations. Like, look yeah. at fucking Gravity Falls, Owl House, like all those. Then who would be Joker matter, was he? Uh, no one. We don't need live-action fucking Persona. Well, I would argue we're live-action we're Persona would only... Smashiverse. Own... If we're going to do Smashiverse, we're going to need to. At some Except point, the... we're going to need to. Except the Smashiverse is not a live-action movie franchise. It's an animated movie franchise. Live-action Lion King is always just reanimated Lion King. Yeah, it is. Reanimated, terrible. but worse because you because they don't have facial emotions. Listen, they really got to stop. Uh, what's the word I want? Evangelion, um, their franchises. <laughs> you got to stop it, man. You got to yeah. stop Evangelion, your franchises. Yeah, really. Friggin' uh, Metroid live action show though. No, out oh, now. Metroid once again. Would have to be animated. You don't want a Metroid fucking uh, villain of the week? No, because there's only like three villains. Hmm. Well, you can find a and... different alien and stuff every week. What about all them robots that you fought in the you, last game? You would run. Well, yeah, the Emmys would be like an episode. Like it. Like no, I, I I'm of the opinion that yeah, you a monster of the week Metroid would sufficiently last maybe 10 episodes that's it it could not go further uh chris evans is the voice of fox mcleod Uh, man i don't like any of this you're all fired you're all fucking fired everybody pack up and go home you're all fired today yeah and breezy saying aslan was a more believable talking lion 100 percent true aslan was actually not badly done in the Narnia movies. Wasn't he also Jesus? Well, yeah, he was. He was a very clear Jesus allegory. Yes. Over ten seasons of the Fire Emblem TV show, Fire Emblem would go on like <laughs> Game of Thrones, and everyone would hate it. Man, Scarlett Johansson is mocking. Stop! Stop casting Scarlett Johansson as Asian women. <laughs> we've done that gotta, we've already done gotta, that sour laugh you gotta stop you gotta stop yeah uh iconic saying mother brain evil samus the other evil samus from fusion the other mother brain ridley ridley again metal ridley ridley clone ridley dead ridley but there's also craid mad as homer simpson i'm not that bald yet baby baby ridley like remember when they get, did godzilla and godzuki it would be like Ridley <laughs> and Ridzilla. Uh, I hate it. Uh, can you catch the everlasting blue shirt, kid? What's better, pancakes or waffles? Depends on what's on top of it. Yeah, but do uh, you like wa- pancakes? Yes. Yeah, I like pancakes. Do you like waffles? Yeah, I like waffles. Do you like French toast? Yeah, I like French toast. Can't wait to your mouth. You're so good. It's really... It's really hard to coordinate singing over Discord. It is. Uh, Baby Ridley was actually a thing. Yeah, it was, unfortunately. Uh, Matt Crocker saying, there's also Craig said the the Metroid fandom. <laughs> the Skyrim movie? No. Elder Scrolls, the, the only way that an Elder Scrolls movie would be allowed is if all the Bethesda glitches are also in the movie. <laughs> you know what? That would be fucking baller, actually. Actually, I'm all in. Yeah, imagine someone getting hit by a giant and they just go straight into the air about 15 miles. Oh man, I hope they make a Pokemon movie for Paldea and include the glitches. I 
No, some of the glitches are terrifying. I hope the trainer's like, ha ha, I can't wait to go on my adventure, and then falls through a fucking cliff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can cross over Metroid with other sci-fi series, Samus versus Z Xenomorph, uh, versus the Thing versus the Borg. Well, I mean, the reason Ridley is named Ridley is because of Ridley Scott, the director of Alien, as well as, uh, and the reason Ridley has the shape of his head is because it's based off of the Xenomorph. Okay, but question. Yes. Wouldn't wouldn't if they did a Smash Universe, wouldn't Rid, um, wouldn't Samus then legally be able to fight Kirby because Kirby's an alien? I mean, technically. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I suppose. Uh, Smash Bros. Well, Luigi has too tall. We can't add him. Why? Why won't you just let the the Smash Bros. Universe happen? Because uh, it's not a good idea. I can't wait for the pir Piranha movie. The Piranha Plant movie? No. Yeah, the Piranha Plant movie. Yeah. I hate it. If we're doing no. the Smash Bros. No. Universe, you've got to have the Piranha no. Plant movie. No. Yeah. Uh, Bernie saying, hey, just joined what I missed. Giveaway happened yet? That was the end of last stream, my dude. Yeah. And didn't didn't Claus of Brony win something? Yeah, Claus of Brony did. Yeah, the hell are you on about, dude? Giveaway was last stream, and you won. Do you? What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want from me? I'm just a little guy. Yeah, I thought you were con. Well, so you said that you. Uh, I'll, I'll we'll figure figured, that I out. I, I tried I'll, to contact I'll, you on Discord, and we don't have your Discord. Yeah. So, Brony, how are you not on the Discord? Yeah. Here. It's your own fault. Yeah, like this Discord. Why are you not on this Discord here? You yeah. could join it and and give yourself a role and then hang out with other people in the Toxic Crew and such. And get and get no, other notifications of when Wazzy fucking... You know, when cool ki where the cool kids are. Only the cool kids yeah. are there. I said, I'll write them on the Discord, but you guys don't know my name on there. Oh, so well, that, should... that's your problem. This you should yell happens. out at... This is what happens when you're closet and a brony. Yeah. Maybe don't hide so much, brony. Get out and proud of your broniness. Yeah. Your broniosity. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got reincarnated in Skyrim, but the glitches made me hate every second of it. <laughs> really? But what, if, saying... but what if the dragons got replaced by Thomas the Tank Engine? Or... Marshall Man Randy Savage. Yeah, wouldn't that be rad? Rest in peace. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't then you like being there? I think that would almost make it worse. No, I don't I think, think I'd want. I don't think I'd want flying fucking Thomas the Tank Engines everywhere. Also, Kakashi ever seen the next great Hitman movie? Enter Sprinkles the Clown. Oh, Sprinkles the Clown. I need. I need to revisit that at some point. Maybe on one of my streams, I'll pull the Xbox up and fucking. Pull Hitman back out and just do uh, Sprinkles the Clown percent uh, speed runs of levels. <laughs> Sprinkles the Clown any percent. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's I have to I have to complete the level as a clown. And you have to kill as many people as you can with fish. Oh yeah, I have to be a fish clown. I have to have a fish in hand, and I have to KO as many people as possible possible with the fish. Yeah. I mean, I I completed one level as it. I can do more. You can. You do have the talent and the ability. Yeah. Uh, no. I don't know if saying so, Miss Bo, if that's your baby pick, did you dye your hair or does it grow more brown over the years? It went more brown over the years. I started, yeah. I started blonde and then after a traumatic event, my hair went brown. That's, I don't feel like that's true. After a traumatic event down a water slide directly into a porta potty, my hair went brown. That's definitely not what happened. Like an anime character, I cut my hair and then it came back brown. I. When I was a kid, I was kidnapped and the kidnappers wanted to make sure that my parents wouldn't find me again. And so they dyed my hair brown and fixed my face so that it wouldn't be as slanted anymore. And 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 that's and now I'm here. <laughs> I don't believe a single word of that. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to me. I don't know. I don't know. Is it? I don't know if that's true. I'm not sure. One time, as a kid, I went camping and got my head stuck in an alligator. And when they finally pulled me free, my hair was brown instead of blonde. 
That's definitely not how that works. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I was there. It's not. I was it's there. Not. I was there. My head was in the alligator. Ew. <laughs> I'm sure that it wasn't. I am increasingly sure. <laughs> one time, what what happened, the true story is one time um, I was in high school and it was prom and I was like, oh man, I'll never be prom queen. And then they were like, the winner of prom queen is, is Wazi Toxic here. And I was like, oh, that's me. And I went up on prom to get my prom my prom bouquet and my crown and everything and then somebody dumped a whole bunch of pig's blood on me and when i washed the pig's blood out my hair was brown and then i got that psychic powers and killed everyone that's just that's just the story of carrie by <laughs> stephen king okay okay let me let me try again one time one time i went i went into um a hotel for the winter to take care of it to make sure the pipes wouldn't freeze and while i was while i was w there i was trying to work on my great american novel and my kids were driving me crazy and i started to talk like it's like see ghosts and shit and i was like hmm this is wild and then um i went a little crazy and i tried to kill my family and then i went out into the frozen snow and i got frozen and when they dethawed thawed me my hair was brown and that's how my hair turned brown that's definitely just the story of The Shining, by, also by Stephen King. Okay, all right. Well, then one time, <laughs> one time when I was born, um, I got, I was born and I was put in a prison, and so I decided to become an evil mastermind. And then I had um, a, a nemesis who was the hero of the city, and I decided I was going to do everything in my power to uh, get back at him. So I kidnapped... Um, one of this news reporters, but I actually kind of had feelings for her. And then um, a different, um, and then all of a sudden one time I did actually kill my nemesis and I felt really bad about it. And then uh, a different guy came to town and I was like, well, this guy's way worse than me. And then, and then um, I fought him and then I won and I was like, it's all about presentation. And I came back with brown hair and uh, that's, that's how I got brown hair. That one was just Megamind starring Will Ferrell. And this one actually had nothing to do with Stephen King. That's great. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, then one time there was a zombie apocalypse, right? And I decided to go to the bar to just wait for this all to kind of blow over. And so me, I went to go get my mom first um, and my girlfriend. I had to go get my girlfriend and my mom and then go to the bar and then wait for this all to just blow over. And whilst the zombie apocalypse was happening happening and then my best friend uh got turned into a zombie and then i kept him in my yard and then one time uh the stress of my best friend being a zombie and being a friend in my yard um the stress made my hair grow brown that one's just Shaun of the dead starring simon pegg and nick frost and it's the first of the cornetto trilogy of movies that's uh, directed by edgar wright okay well then this other time <laughs> i was a cop right and my best friend was also a cop but he was a worse cop than me and i got i was so good at copying i went to this other city um where where uh the, not much happened so that i wouldn't show up all the other don't bonk me um so that i wouldn't be like showing up all the other cops um but then it turned out there was a cool murder mystery happening and whilst this murder mystery was happening um I I got a gun and also a duck and the duck bit me and my hair turned brown. That's just the second movie in the Cornetta trilogy directed by Edgar Wright called Hot Fuzz, starring also star starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost and also uh, Timothy Dalton, and it is my favorite movie of all time. How could you think? How could you think that that story would, would fool me? That's my favorite movie of all time. Okay, okay, well then, okay, this is the true story. This is the true and final story of why my hair is now brown instead of blonde. <laughs> One time, I was a little girl, and I went to go live with my dad in Forks, Washington. And when I was there, I went to high school, and there was this really cool guy. And I was like, why is that guy so cool and mysterious? And then he kind of, like, stalked me around for a while. And then we wound up in the forest, and he was, and I was all like, I know what you are. And he was like, say it. And I was like, 
hairdresser. And then he dyed my hair brown. And then and then he bit me on the neck and then he sparkled. And um and that's how my hair is brown now. That was almost Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but better. Yeah, but better. It was. Yeah, but better. Yeah. I, absolutely better. That he's ju- that he was just a hairdresser, not a vampire. <laughs> that, that 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 I'll admit that last one made it better. <laughs> and Neo quite saying, "Ah, oh, moving to Forks, Washington will turn anyone's hair brown. No sun there." Yeah, exactly. See, <laughs> Matt Cracker said, "I'm disappointed. There's no road to El Dorado backstory." <laughs> Okay, so listen. Crazy is this Wazi lore? Okay, the funny shit. Okay, true story. One time, um, it was nineteen. The year was nineteen ninety two. I was. Oh no! And it it was a cold. It was a cold. It was it was a hot night. Um, it, and more often than not, um, it's more hotter than hot. Um, and I was just a poor little street rat and I got put in a prison and some other prison guy said, if you go into this tiger cave, you can get whatever you want, but bring me this lamp. And I was like, all right. So, um, I went into the tiger cave and I found the lamp and I was like, okay, I gotta take this lamp back to this guy. But then he betrayed me and tried to stab me. But luckily I still had the lamp and (laughs) shush. And then I fell back down the lion cave, but then I accidentally rubbed the lamp and guess what? A genie came out and he's like, what do you wish for? And I was like, brown hair. And he gave me brown hair. I. And that's the origin story. You know what, Wazzy? To quote, to quote the 1992 hit animated movie, uh, Aladdin, tell her the truth. Okay. So to answer your question, I don't know. It just happened. My bo- both, my, both my parents had dark hair. My grandma had uh, light hair. Um, my sister still has light hair. Um, and I got dark hair. I don't know. I don't know what you want. From yeah. Me. I don't know genetics. I don't fucking know. I don't know either. I don't also, know genetics, for, uh, but I, Bree- sure, I sure know some the plot of some movies. Yeah. <laughs> Breezy's just saying, don't purchase your Disney Plus from Sheehan. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what that, that's definitely what that felt like. <laughs> But it was also great. That was that, that was a that was a good bit, and that bit lasted like five minutes longer than it should have. But it was great. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, overboard, but I'm proud of myself. Oh yeah, no, it was 100. percent It was great. That was actually really well done. <laughs> um, also, uh, Orion says hydrate. Ryan, I'm working. You mean onion? Onion. Sorry, you said Ryan, and I thought you meant pineapple. Ryan. No, I said I said Orion. Oh, okay. All right. Orion, perhaps. The true story is I don't know genetics. <laughs> yeah, the true story is I don't know. Well, <laughs> don't party horn me. I was great, and that was listen, perfect stories. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Breezy said we were just held up prisoner while she made self-insert fanfic in real time. <laughs> hey, I think it's better than Crew Immortal. Than Crew Mortal. The fanfic we wrote together. My Crew Mortal was a fucking legend, okay? It's available in the Discord if you didn't get a chance to hear my live rendition of Crew Mortal. You might have been better off not hearing it, gang. My god. It's great. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do know what I'm talking about. I was there. I helped. I helped construct that Frankenstein abomination. It's fine. It was great though. And Mad Crack saying, "Well, now we gotta join the Discord." Yeah, look at that seamless self plug. Papow! Fucking aced it. I'm so good at my job, everybody. Yeah. Also, Breezy saying having no context makes the experience even more fun. That's true. Yeah. Uh, oh, Bronnie said that they'll uh, contact you and get to, ping you on Get to Know if that's okay with you. They'll just call us about a lot of things. That's fair. How dare you. Uh, Mr. Durbones is confused as to what's going on. Oh, we're talking about my crew mortal. Oh, I'm talking about uh, why I have brown hair now instead of blonde hair like I do in my baby picture. So I just. And your baby is the pictures. So I just, you know, I don't know. You had to be there. Yeah. 
You have to be there. Yeah, or or watch the VOD later. Stop, stop stop fucking living in the past. We're in the nows. We're 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 in the nows. The, and the nows is fucking drawing art requests. And remember You're not that, wrong. Now it and, now is the time of art requests. And remember and, what uh, apples look like. Uh Ghidoramon is saying we got two champagne users and a child. I presume Chad is the child. I mean, Chad could be the child. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. It's, the art request was for the anti-Isekai squad, so that's exactly what I'm drawing. They wanted the anti-Isekai squad, and that's what's happening. Yeah. And they're all cute. I, I like their designs. Thanks. I did them um, in the moment. <laughs> when it was yeah, done. Not, not right now, <laughs> obviously. In the moment they were made, I was just like, yeah, that's good enough for a character design. Send it to fucking print. I didn't have a lot of time, nor a lot of budget, but I had a lot of dreams. The way that most movies turn out. Or at least some of the good ones. Uh, let's see. Orion also said, do you still want patrons to submit their Decker requests? December requests. Uh, yeah, obviously. It's near December. Oh, yeah. What the frick? Yeah, and Ryan's also asking, has anyone ever gifted 50 subs? Uh, um, not at once. No, not at once. Like, in general, yeah. But not at once. Um, but I don't know if I even have a custom sound for that. I probably do, but I don't know. Because it's never happened, so yeah. I don't worry about it. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Or Fancy Fancy is asking, what's your favorite isekai? Uh, I know Wazzy's favorite. Oh, and what do you think? Digimon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, specifically Digimon Season 2. Yeah. Technically, Digimon Season 1 is an isekai as well, but... Oh, it, I'd argue it's more of an isekai, because it's more of an effort to get back. Mm, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Well, personally, I think Digimon Season 2 is the perfect isekai, though. They get to come back and forth... You know, they they learn their adventures. It explains it explains why some things are in the digital world, uh, how they're different from from re the regular world. You know, it's fucking it's a perfect fucking uh, it's a per perfect fucking isekai. Ten out of ten. Would <laughs> would travel to again. I also thoroughly enjoyed Escaflone. Man, I'm gonna tell you a joke. As a child, What's... as a child, I call ex escaflone ex escaflones because of the size of their nose. And that... that's funny. To a baby that's... wazzy, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Okay, okay, okay that's Because fair. their noses are big and flones was some kind of thing you put in your nose. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was a thing you put on your nose. So, uh... Boom. Escaflones. Yeah, Perfect, Perfect joke. Is like an anti 10 out of 10. Good job. I don't know. Good job, Wazzy. 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, now I write comedy for the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently Bakugan Season 2 is also an isekai. I didn't know that, nor did I need to, but thank you. I didn't know Bakugan you. had a Season 2. That too. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's uh, the news to me. Nocturnal Blade also saying, uh, we also got traumatized by the Dark Ocean in Adventure 2. Did we, though? It was like one episode. It was one episode, and it turned out pretty okay, actually. If we wanna, if we, if we really look at it, it really didn't do much. They were all like, oh, this Dark Ocean stuff. And I'm like, that's really cool. And then they're like, well, we're never doing this again. We will yeah, never like, oh, well, bring up done. the Dark Ocean again. Yeah, it was literally just like, and, hey, yeah, this is going to be really cool, really interesting. This is going to be very important. Kenichi Joji was only good at sports and also math because of his dark spore. Yeah. Without it, he was a regular schmuck. Yeah, without it, he he just was a regular guy. He wasn't even cool. He was okay at best. Boom. File. Save. There we go. There's the anti-isekai squad. Oh, I forgot her fucking eyebrow What'd piercing. you forget? 
there. I forgot her eyebrow piercing. And I didn't write their... I didn't decorate their jackets, but whatever. You know who it is. It's the anti-Isekai squad. All yeah, right. the little Isekai. Isekis. 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 All right. Let's see what fucking else is up on my fucking thing. Um, oh, prepare prepare for an incoming swear timer because Rio just put up an end swear timer. How dare you? How dare you? No, it's fine. Um, all right. Anti Isekai squad drawn. Let's see. Yep. Oh, there's the regular swear timer. Thank you, Miles. Ah, uh, just regular. Just regular. I'm free. <sighs> That's rude. I'm pretty sure swear timer plus is active. I'm pretty sure we kept it active from. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh, evil lettuce eaten by crouton. That is a good request. They could have made. They could have made. Oh, and then Isaac put a swear timer plus for after the swear timer. No, that's evil. That's evil and also rude. Yeah, like why would you do that? Why? Why would you be so impolite? Okay, crew, tell me what is your backstory. What is your, what is, what movie is, if you broke it down, which one is your life? Yeah, what movie is the backstory that, like, that that you have, that what, you, that you would like to have? What is your 1992 Aladdin, which is the true story about my life? Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. Uh, oh, also, we have a fact from Closet Brony. For okay. Uh, we have. I have no fucking clue. My life's not interesting enough to be a movie. My backstory is I was abandoned. That's it. Reezy's saying if I actually had the work ethic, I'd be Tiana. <laughs> man, I feel that. <laughs> man, man, if I wasn't so sleepy, tired all the time, you guys would be fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's just like if I wasn't if I wasn't so very sleepy. All right, here is your fact. Eh, him. Eh, eh, him. Him. Did you know Dr. Seuss invented the word nerd? Really? Yeah. It's a true fact. Look it up, nerd. Oh. I like that fact, actually. Uh, he probably made it up to rhyme with something. Probably like herd like, or something, you know. Or, or nerd, herd, bird, word. Yeah, you know how Dr. Seuss be. Yeah, he, he just wants to be rhymey. Oh, and it looks like uh, we have a stretch, hydrate, and a bad joke. Damn, that's a lot of things. Why are you guys making me do my job? Yeah, why are you making us do things? I'm just uh -oh. a little guy. Fuck. Yeah, Breezy said that sounds very believable. Good thing, because there's a real fact. There was a real one. For once in my life, I'm telling you the truth. Once. Yeah. Matt Quacker said that their backstory is, I was once swindling a group of guys at dice with my best friend, and we ended up fighting. It was a, a race to escape, and then we ended up on a, a ship to the New World, and we searched for the City of Gold, where we became gods. And my friend begged a baddie he didn't think he'd tell me about, it, and I got upset, but the wise chief made me change my mind, and we sacrificed CM good life in the city to save it. And for adventure, and the baddie came with us and our stolen horse. Well, the horse is a surprise. Uh, <laughs> him. Here's a bad joke. Mm -hmm. What do you call your mom's angry French sister? Uh, and, and this works for you because you're French. I don't know what. A croissant. <laughs> da 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 da. Chook. Okay. I like that one. I, that's quality. Okay, he's looking a little bit like Kermit the Frog here, but just fucking trust me on this, okay? Trust me on this. I didn't want to look up. I didn't. I didn't want to look up references for this one, so just fucking trust me on it, okay? 
I need you guys. I need you guys to just believe me. I believe you. Like you guys just seeing what does that look like, Froggy? Because I don't know how to draw things that aren't froggy shaped now. I'm doing a commission for Froggy where I had to draw a bunch of froggies. Do you want to see the bunch of froggies I've drawn? You want to see how many froggies I've drawn? Where is it? Frog Sona full. Look at how many froggies I've drawn. Look at how many unreasonably angry froggies I've drawn. Look at all these froggies. Look at all these froggies. Look at them. Look at, look at the froggies. Yeah, there's so much frog. I had to draw so many froggies. Almost an excess. Just so many. Uh, I see James is saying, aren't they just reused, uh, reused assets? Uh, not all of them. Yeah, <laughs> unintentional frog. Miles saying, well, I haven't felt potatoes for as long as you remembered. I lost all feeling of any lasting pleasure, only biting time to the end of my days. This is what my story told the ones I left behind. Oh, well, that's not, that's not sad. Sounds like a sad story. Amphibian supremacy. Too much frog. That sounds like... Is that... Is that fucking... Helltaker? Not Helltaker. Yeah, Helltaker... No, Helltaker is the one where he wants what? a harem of demons. Nicholas Cage. Biker man. Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider! <laughs> Ghost Rider. Is that Ghost Rider? Uh, I don't think it is. It might be it might be original comic Ghost Rider, not Nicholas Cage Ghost Rider. He's way more like excitable in that one. Ghost Rider. <laughs> uh Ryan's saying uh fuck I used my worm points already. Helltaker is where the simp is actually based. <laughs> Uh, the Hobbit, I'm one of the background characters that lives quietly in a home. You know what? That's legit. Oh, man. You're just a Hobbit that lives in a Hobbit home? That's great. Yeah, if you're just like a Hobbit that just like chills out and you're like, oh, there goes Bilbo again. And then like you're like, well, back to eating like nine breakfasts. <laughs> you know, that that would be that would be a great time. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good life. If you were a background NPC... Of any franchise you wanted, what would you be a background NPC of? Uh oh, that's a really good question. Um, I'm trying to think of one where the world doesn't get fucking challenged and went. <laughs> where the I would say on fire all the time. I would say I'd want to be background NPC in uh, Animal Crossing. Oh, because it's only the main character who owes Tom Nook money. I mean, I guess that's true. Yeah. Whereas if you just live a regular life and someone else cleans up the town, you just, you know, chill. Some you vibe. Come, you... Some dude comes, redecorates your house, and you're just like, I. Right. <laughs> like, I'm like, it's like, not my first choice, but you did it for me, so, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Uh, that's not true. Everyone, everyone in the new game owes some money. Oh, really? No. Uh, see, I, oh, I see Jane said Stardew Valley. Other good choice. Uh, Pokemon NPC, Rune Factory. Mag Quacker said uh, Breath of the Wild because I go look for a buff, tall, and strong girlfriend. <laughs> That's true. Breath of the yeah, Wild would that. be really easy because you're just like, like, you're just minding your business and then some like, Half naked dude runs in, steals all the apples in your house, and then leaves. And you're just like, "What a polite young man!" <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, well, the reason you don't stop him is because, like, would you, would like, would you try? <laughs> I would want to be one of those dudes who lives in the background cities in the Tetris games. Oh, like one of the people you like you you want to live in Russia. Well, you know, like you know when you know when like when you're playing um, Tetris, they got like the, the the background 
that's what I'd want. Yeah, background in the original Tetris is the Kremlin. Yeah. In Russia. Yeah, yeah. I'd just be there. <laughs> just yeah. be chilling out there while somebody in the distance is making a tower full of full of blocks. That'd be a pretty nice existence. Yeah. And Matt Quack was saying about uh, Link stealing his shit. A motherfucker has a big fuck off sword that made my light bulbs explode. I'm not stopping that. <laughs> no, that's legit. Uh, Miles, I'm the half naked man. I have your apples. <laughs> they can say saying Yu Gi Oh would be fun. Why? You have to duel everybody all the time. You go to go get groceries and you'd be like, ah, shit, I don't have exact change. And the fucking waitress would be like, fuck you! And like pull out like a fucking, an entire deck of cards and then you gotta fucking duel her for the fucking bill. And if you lose, guess what? There's all your fucking, I don't know, she takes your like, I don't know, your blue eyes white dragon and rips it in front of you. Or your black eyes red dragon. I don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh cards are. She takes your fucking pot of green and rips it right in front of you and then blows it back in your face and is like, get out of here, chump. <laughs> uh, I can't even say, oh, you have four kids, Yu-Gi-Oh world be dope. Why would you want to live in a world where everything is fucking negotiated by a children's card game? Not Especially everything. I mean, it's... you suck at that children's card game. Just imagine Wazzy. the Yu-Gi-Oh world if you suck the Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, well, see, firstly, not everyone in that world plays Yu-Gi-Oh. You could just be someone who's Yu-Gi-Oh, who's tournament adjacent and having to deal with everyone else's horseshit, but you don't have to play the game. Oh, what? So I get to be one of those security guys who don't get guns and just point their fingers at you? That seems to be the only other no, job well, see, no. in the Yu-Gi-Oh universe. It's either you get to be a teacher or you get to be a guy who points menacingly at teenagers or a scientist who has to build dragon-themed fucking jets for guys. I'd be, I would absolutely be an aerospace engineer for dragon shaped jets. Are you kidding? That sounds amazing. That sounds like hard work. If you fucking just imagine you just want, you're like, man, I can't wait to make this helicopter. It'll look so dope. And then your fucking billionaire boss comes up, leans over your shoulder, and it's like, make it look like a dragon. And you're like, Jesus fucking Christ. And he's like, make that look like a fucking dragon. And you're like, but sir, that's not very aerodynamic. And he's like, I don't care. Screw the rules. Scare the ru Screw the rules of aerodynamics. I have money. But, but Wazzy, you, you also forget, Kaiba pays his people pretty damn well. That's all well and good, but maybe sometimes I don't want to make everything look like a dragon. Maybe sometimes I just want to have a nice day Maybe I just want to, you know, live my life and be like, man, I'm going to make a... Sh I'm, yeah. Daddy, Daddy, did you make a plane today at work? Ha <laughs> ha, I sure did, sweetie. What did it look like? And you pull up this fucking dragon monstrosity and your child's face just falls. And she stares at you and goes, Daddy, what is that? And you go, an abomination, son, as you wipe a tear from your fucking eye. <laughs> also, the swear timer's up. Start swear timer plus. Yay! Fuck yeah! And now it's for Tower Plus time. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't want to live in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe because I don't want to spend every day of my life uh, making dragon jets or pointing at children men menacingly. There's definitely other jobs. There's definitely grocery stores, honey. Oh yeah, sorry. I don't want to be. I don't want to be a grocery clerk that has to that has to duel somebody when they don't have exact change. I don't want to be, listen. I already have so, to turn on my freaking phone and hear a megalomaniac is going insane over a freaking uh, a a freaking blue freaking animal i don't need another eccentric billionaire making jets out of this weird animal just imagine you just imagine you wake up you wake up right and it's like ah elon musk has made a, a, a jet that he only travels around by personal jet that's shaped like a like a twitter lo like the twitter logo can you imagine how hard these scientists have to work to get the aerodynamics correct on a jet that looks like a dragon? I don't know. A, a, a moderate amount. I also, imagine uh, it's hard. <laughs> also, uh, Snake ended the spur timer. Yay, thank you, Snake. There you go. 
Boomer was the only knows 1999 of Bridge Yu-Gi-Oh. First off, the Bridge Yu-Gi-Oh came out in like 2007, so shut up. Secondly, uh, Wazzy has literally never watched a single episode of regular Four Kids Yu-Gi-Oh. I never have, and I bet you there's no other jobs in the Yu-Gi-Oh universe besides pointing menacingly at children. I mean, I'm sure there's more. Oh, I see Jane put in another regular swear timer. Jane! Did you not hear me talking about Yu-Gi-Oh? Did you not hear that entire thing? You guys are going to jail. Anyway, without references, there's Crouton eating evil lettuce's tail. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually the request or not, but that's how I interpreted it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Kaiba owning Twitter would be much better, though. Yeah, Kaiba would be a significantly better owner. Uh, Kaiba's cleaning get lady getting a $5 million for Christmas bonus? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, he's, he's fucking deranged, and it's great. Like, he literally got a satellite, shot off into space, full of Yu-Gi-Oh!, full of Duel Monsters cards, with the actual line from the dub saying, if there is intelligence, li intelligent life out there, we might as well teach it how to duel. Because Kaiba's fucking insane, and it's great. Yeah. And the fact that he literally pulled a Tony Stark and pivoted his company from a, like, a, a military, uh, private military, like, industrial complex company to a, a dragon-themed theme park and card game company. Like, no, that's A+. Plus. It's That's the pivot of the century there. I love it. It's so dumb. Uh, what about the motorcycle duels? Are the far future where Dark Magician Girl can kick your balls? Well, I don't want that. Mike Cracker's saying, I, I can't waste taxpayer money if, if I don't pay my taxes and pay for everything my company makes. I just want to live in a world where everything is based on a children's card game, and I don't think that's a lot to ask. Eh, it's not that much to ask, yeah. I just, I just don't want my world to be all fricked up. Save myself a swear <laughs> timer there. Um, you did by by the incomprehensible madness of trying to figure out the best deck so that I could duel some guy so that my boss doesn't fire me when I lose a Yu-Gi-Oh duel to pay somebody's check. Like, imagine, imagine you're a waiter in the, in the Yu-Gi-Oh universe, right? And you're like, yeah, uh, here's your bill, sir. It comes to $27. And he goes, what about a Yu-Gi-Oh duel? And you're contractually obligated to battle him in a Yu-Gi-Oh duel. You're definitely not though. Uh and then and then if you lose he gets that twenty seven dollar meal for free and then you gotta explain to your boss why you lost your Yu-Gi-Oh duel. Yeah, just don't buy the cards then. That's what Miles said, just don't buy the cards. Mm -hmm. Don't spend money on the cards and then you don't have to get into duels. Did you not think that far ahead? I didn't think that far ahead, but also it seems like a lot of this world is based on, on Yu-Gi-Oh dueling. Yeah, but it's definitely not the only thing in the world, though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Seems yeah. Like also, fine apple says hydrate. Ah, fine apple. Why are you getting so mad about drinking water? Because I'm trying to art as many arts as I can today, and I feel like <laughs> I'm really setting the bar low, and um, I need to I need to catch up. Ah. You're about par for the course for your usual streams. How dare you? That I was saying that you're doing well and you're keeping up. How dare you? How how dare I how dare how I tell dare you, you that you're doing a, you're doing a good a reasonable job? Listen, nobody talk to me unless it's an emergency anymore. Okay, nobody nobody. I don't want to see a word in chat. I don't want to hear a, a peep out of Matt. I don't want to so hear nothing saying. unless it's an emergency. Okay. Thank you. It's time to b -b 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 bingle. How dare you? How dare you get such an aptly named bingle <laughs> at this freaking moment? At this moment in time and place. How dare That's you? That's great. 
How dare you get such an aptly bingle today, right now, live on Twitch.tv. Somebody ban this man. That's hilarious. Hi, mods. Hi. Okay, when am I? Can when am I? <laughs> Iconic just saying, what are the odds? <laughs> um, I don't know, actually. Probably one in, um, I think I have like 70 bingle bingles. So it's, it's right a now. more than 1% chance, but it's not, it's lower than 10%. Mm -hmm. I find out saying, gotta remember, Wazzy, it's just a Sundere. He's saying, you're doing great, Wazzy. Sh sh shut up, <laughs> Ryan. Uh, Matt Crocker saying, Wazzy makes me want to open my PC at 5.05 a.m. to draw. Do it. Get the art. Have we were guys... asking, how did we get on Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, because I was talking about which uh, fantasy world you guys would want to live in. And someone said Yu-Gi-Oh. It's an NPC, and then somebody said Yu-Gi-Oh, and I had to tell them how that was wrong. You thought it was a bingle, hey, but it was no me. Bingling. We're working here. Well, no, continue bingling. We're doing a job. We're doing an important job, and that important job is drawing me dying. Yeah. Let's see. Matt Crocker saying chat should speed run while he's muting the chat because of too many compliments. Uh, Sourland, Sourland, I need a, I need a little favor. Can you just uh ban everybody right now? Just, just give him a little time out. Just a little time out, just for me, Sourland, my boy. Sourland, me boy. <laughs> knock, 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 knock. I need you to go out there and ban everybody. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I was saying, go out, go, Obelisk the Tormentor, twerk on Yugi's life points away. Oh, God. You know what's terrible is I bet that could happen. Yeah. Fine, I'm saying you can ban us here, but we'll take the compliments to Discord. Oh, no. What's this? I deleted the Discord. Whoopsie doodle. You would not delete the Discord. You like the Discord. Do I? You do. It's a stretch. <laughs> Sorry, you just, uh, whatever you just said there completely cut out. Well, it's okay. It's fine. Shush. <laughs> I'm, hey, yeah, wait, I'm sorry. Didn't I, I'm, I, didn't I tell you not to talk to me unless it was an emergency? Well, I'm... Are you on fire? No, but... Is there a spider I'm, in the room? I'm also trying to interact with you and did crew you, did, and did be... You, did you be, find the spider in your room? There's no spiders in my room. How do you know? Did you check? Did you look? I mean, I, I'm looking around right now. I'm in a good. I'm in a good position to know if there's spiders in my room. Mm, okay. Okay. If you believe that, that's what matters. I mean, it, it is the case. Also, uh, Rogalite answering the question of what world do you want to be an NPC in, and they said Pokemon World for multiple reasons. Uh here the same reasons Yu-Gi-Oh would be a bad world. Uh, Pokemon would be the same. Imagine, Not really. Imagine you go to a cashier and you don't have enough money for your groceries. You're like, ah, dang, I don't have enough money for my groceries. So they go, well, I guess I'll have to Pokemon battle you. And they freaking whip out a Charizard. And you're like, ah, I only brought my Caterpie. I was just going to the store and I was just brought my Caterpie. Was he? Mm. Shops are explicitly the one place that you never Pokemon battle. Well, yeah, but you gotta you gotta think about it in the grander scheme of things, because that's just yeah. the Pokemon shops. You never in the Pokemon world. You never really every know. restaurant in every restaurant in Paldea. You don't. Bat There's only one that you battle in, and that and that one's explicitly made for battling. Uh, I specifically remember Galar uh, having me battle in a fast food restaurant. That yeah. Do you remember well, that? You do... remember that? I went to Galar. I was having a nice time in Galar, and they were all like, "Hey, idiot, battle me!" And I was like, "Uh, okay." To be fair, the the shop owner specifically asks you, "Hey, do you want to fight?" And you can say no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're trying to you're trying to pick fights where fights don't exist. Yeah, because I'm good at it. Yeah, you're good at picking fights and then good at losing. No, I'm winning right now. <laughs> You're not, honestly, though. Honestly, honestly, I've got sources and everything to back it up. I even said the name of the of the region right. I think I should get bonus points for saying the name of the region right. Galar? 
Galar, yeah. I remember well, what it was. That's that one's a uh that that's what that's can you say all of them correctly? Actually, no, that's not that that's not even that hard of an ask. They're all, yeah, all actually pretty exactly. Easy to say. You're setting the bar too low. Um Yeah, the, yeah, it's saying one region correctly is even lower. Yeah. But still. Um But like just just imagine every time you gotta like imagine you're just let's say you don't even do anything Pokemon related. Let's say you're just a regular guy and let's say, I don't know, you work um you work at a factory making nondescript factory things, right? You get in your car okay. and you drive to the factory, right? Mm-hmm. Now there's a bunch of Tauros on the road, right? The, you got to move these Tauros that are all over the road. You either got to get out and battle them or you got to honk the horn or you got to wait for some uppity like preteen to come battle them and catch them and get them out of your way. Just think of how it's, like, inconvenient it would be. To be everywhere you go, there's a little, there's just a little, a little fucking guy. I mean, yeah. Imagine but... every time you stepped out of your house, there were thirty cats. I mean, that that's a, a hyperbole of what actually happens to us in real life. We have a lot of outdoor cats in our neighborhood. Yeah, but it's not every time I step out of my house, there's suddenly boom thirty cats. Hey. Well, sometimes there could be. I mean, there's never thirty cats. There could be one or two. Yeah, one or two is also... reasonable. But thirty fucking cats, man. That's a lot of cats. Just saying, walking out of my house, having to deal with thirty cats because I didn't fucking mow the lawn this week. That seems like a bad fucking time to me. Also, the swear time has been over like for a full minute, good. and I haven't been able to get a word in edgewise to tell you. Oh, good. So you get an hour of extra, you got a minute of extra spare time, which is great. I'll mark that one as complete. Also, Ace says stretch. Well, then, I will. Uh, sorry, let's say, fuck it, Mario World gets Catsuit and Morbs. No, I see because if, I'd you love ever, to have if you've ever been in the Mario World, the only place there's other humans is New Donk City. And do you really want to live in New Donk City? Why not? Well, because- What's wrong with New Donk City? Because listen to the name New Donk City. Well, see, there's a lot of places named really stupid things. That doesn't make them bad places to live. So you'd rather live in New Donk City? I wouldn't say no to it. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I legitimately can't think of a reason why I would say no to that. I mean, it's a decent... Looks like a decent city. I mean, it's probably like New York, so rent is probably $4,000 a second. But Exa- like Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Kyle, the table queen, saying, shut up very late, but why the little girl from Little Debbie's commercials in Wallsy's place? How, how <laughs> dare you? This is That's a, funny. This is a Sears probably... I I don't know the year. This is, this is a Sears classic. Okay? This is a classic photo. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, well, yeah. They're both classic photos. Also, uh, Iconic Saint would rather live in New Dunk City. Come on and slam. Hey, welcome to Japan. Yeah. Breezy saying Daisy is best princess. Uh, and Brony saying, whoa, 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 Daisy best? Nah, Rosalina. Ah, uh, that... I don't know, Wazzy, who, who's your favorite of the three princesses? Four if you count Pauline. Waluigi. You know what? That's valid. That's valid. I accept. And fair and correct. Thank you. Yeah. Also, Miles says hydrate. Well, damn. Uh, Breezy says Rosalind's a great princess, although my brain thinks queen. Yeah, because she. Yeah, yes, queen. Yeah, because she's freaking. She's great. Exa- actually, why is Daisy not queen yet? Why are they all not or queen? Peach, for that matter. There's nobody else there, like, messing with the rule or anything. Like, why is it Why is it when a dude's in charge, she instantly gets to be king, but, like, when a girl's in charge, she's got to be princess? Why can't that bitch be queen? Let that bitch be queen! Yeah, why, why is she not Queen Peach? My... I think there was a King, Toad school, King Toadstool in earlier games. 
Well, obviously he's not there now, is he? He's probably dead. I mean, maybe. Uh, also, Courthouse saying Tomboy is better than Space God is better than Pink What's-Her-Face. Mm. Uh, Brony saying Seven Foot Space Queen is better than Tomboy is better than Pink. Mm. Sarlat Daisy is an is unofficial Tomboy. <laughs> Breezy is just saying Peach doesn't have time to be Crown Queen because she gets kidnapped all the time. I mean, I guess, but you'd think like somebody would be like, hey... Just so you know, Ting Kink Toadstool's dead, and we should really move on the lines of succession. Just saying. Yeah, you think they would have hopped on it sooner? You know, I'm just saying. Like, look at the queen wasn't even dead for like 20 minutes when they were all like, "Ah, King Charles." I'm just yeah, like it was pretty damn fuck. It was really fucking quick. I'm just saying. Uh, see, Snake saying Bowser's best girl. Mad Quacker saying Donkey Kong is best girl. Starlet saying Waluigi's best best girl. It's Waluigi. Waluigi's best girl. Uh, yeah. Breezy saying yeah. Well, the fucking hive might be between Breezy and Kai because they both said the same thing. Essentially, just like <laughs> uh, just literally just they keep getting kidnapped. Daisy's part just like nah. Bingo, she's just she, she's good being a princess because why does she she doesn't want to really actually be in charge. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to deal with this. Thank you for the fake bingle bingle. <laughs> Breezy saying Luigi is so baby girl. <laughs> Mario. Mario. <laughs> a Luigi. Oh, why does a princess Peach call you a baby girl? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we talk about this later? <laughs> <laughs> How about that we uh, stop talking for a while, Mario? Uh oh. I always stop talking. Uh, Mario, how about you how about you shut up? <laughs> Mario, but uh we stopped talking for a moment. Uh Miles saying Rosaline is chill and I dig it. Pauline is tall and mega thick in the new movie. Uh Daisy's hot and preppy girlfriend. And uh Peach is cute but high maintenance and definitely cheating on you with Bowser. Which is fair, like I get it. Go girl. Um like mm -hmm. I'm just saying she should probably be queen. That's th that's yeah. just my statement on the matter. Uh, Kai saying Rosalie is technically princess of galaxy, so she most likely likes how princess sounds with her name. That's true. Yeah, she would be the she could be queen Rosalina if she wanted. There's literally no one to stop her. But like, princess Rosalina just sounds better. Queen Rosalina also sounds good. Well, that's the thing. She's also the ruler of galaxy. She could call herself Godmaster fucking Rosalina. Oh, shit. And no one could I stop her. I would go that. I would go that fucking route. Listen, crew. Okay. Say you were in charge of the galaxy, right? You get to give yourself your own cool galaxy title. What would you give yourself? What is your cool, your cool title that you're giving yourself? Yeah. What are you going to go for? Also, Breezy saying a battle between Rosalina and Kirby, who would win? Mm. See, here's my logic. Here's my logic. And while you'll like this as you played Genshin, and I know you find this part, this bit of Genshin lore hilarious. Mm. Rosalina versus Kirby would end the same way that Ganyu's adventure with a friggin' monster did. The <laughs> monster tried to eat her, but she was too thick, and the monster choked on her. Yeah, yeah, that ass too thick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, booty to bomb, spat it out. That's how that's how Rosaline would win against Kirby. Yeah. Also, Rosaline would probably love Kirby, so she won't fight him. That's what Kai said. I mean, that's true, but we're also thinking about the um, Mario Cinematic Universe, the Smash. Cinematic. I hate it so the, much. I the, hate the, it. The Mario Bros. Cin Smash Cinematic Universe. See, it all loops back, Matt. You think I just go on random tirades? Nah, -uh. we always looping back. This is purely coincidence, and we both know it. Don't try to fool always anyone. Always looping back, pro streamer. You guys are like, why he always goes off topic? Wazzy doesn't know what she's doing. Wazzy forgot what she said four seconds ago. Guess what, fools? I never did. It was all a clever ruse the entire time. Everything I do is intentional. I mean, fair. Also, Breezy's saying Rosalina is too thick. Galaxy has booty. 
So this show thing Kirby's too cute. Call the Chris Prattiverse. Okay, gosh, you'll ever say, how do we get back here? We were doing so well. Wait. I I kind of get saying this starts so great, bless you. I have an important question, but I kind of don't want to ask it because I don't want to die. What is it? Um, crew. You know those things in school that you did when the whole school got together and got excited about things? What, oh, right, this. What did you call them? This is important because somebody put a YouTube comment up. And, uh... And I... Yeah. I don't know how to feel. And so I need I need you guys to tell me. What yeah. you Also, you have a save... You have a save reminder from Iconic? Oh, thank you, Iconic. I'll tell you what Crew says in a second. We have two people who are saying what what it's definitely called. Um, which is a pep rally. Pretty sure that's not it. That, that's it. Iconic, uh, the question was, uh, what was, when, like, the school got together and did, like, a big, uh, like, assemb assembly of people to, like, celebrate sports team or something like that, what would you call it? Several people are saying that that's a pep rally. We have three people who said pep rallies. I cut four pep rallies. Five. Courthouse called it a waste of time. Technically also correct. Yeah, technically you're right, but. Yeah, that's six people saying it. Yeah, that's a pep rally, honey. Mm, I don't like that. Is a rally with much peppy energy. All right, let me, let me explain. Raku okay. is two Ks, right? First of all. Yes. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Rocco, I'm literally, I'm dying. Please stop beatboxing. There we That's go. That's great. Um, hear me out. I think it should be called a prep rally. Because you're getting prepared for things. Therefore... It is a prep rally. <laughs> Instantaneously, after you said that the first time, the first thing that came up was just Kai saying, no. No, you don't. Hear me out. You guys aren't, you guys aren't getting it, right? So they get the whole school together, right? They put the entire school in, into one room, right? <laughs> and they're like, you guys got to do this thing. And it could be like, hey, we're all going to do a basketball game. Or it could be like, hey, we're going to tell you guys the new school rules or it's like, Hey everybody, um, here's some clown that's going to tell you don't do drugs. You're getting prepared for things. Prep rally. And then it also ties in to why some people at school are called preps. I mean, are you not following? Well, are you not following this train of logic right now? Yeah. Uh, Courthouse and Breezy. Courthouse says that makes sense. Breezy says as a former marching band member, I could see the logic. Emerald says no. One person pulled out a knife. Um, Wazzy, well, we said no. Uh, you know, still never prepared when it happens. If you stop right now, we won't bully you super hard. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It makes sense. Yeah. Brony's saying prep rally for the kids who misheard the teacher say pep. Listen, uh, <laughs> I have been saying it prep rally my entire life and nobody's ever called me on it until one, one fucking comment on a YouTube video came up and was like, Wazzy, please don't tell me you said prep. And I was See, like, and I then, did, because that's what it is. Then, yeah, and then this came up in conversation and you said, wait, pre is it pep rally, prep rally? I said, I, it is pep rally. I always assumed you were just saying it wrong. Oh, like, you're just saying it pep rally. But, like, with a lilt on it. Mm. Mm. And then Breezy said, uh, although when you said prep, I thought you were referring to preppy people who are the only people who can at least fake the enthusiasm to be believable. Yeah, exactly. See, and then that makes sense, right? Because the people who are preps are usually the, the cheerleaders, right? So it's prep rally. Yeah. It's I suppose. a rally for them. Uh, They're getting prepared. Yeah. Every year we're saying, so this is another valedictorian situation. It is, but this time I'm right. Yeah. 
You guys are saying what you're saying makes sense, but that's not what it's called. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so I said nothing, but I wasn't going to actually say that she's a little guy today. I am a little guy today. Today yeah. is my day of being a little guy. Just the littlest guy. Just the littlest guy. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys saw, but there is a change in schedule. Um, I'm streaming. I know I didn't stream Monday, and I apologize for that. Um, but I am streaming on um, tomorrow night as well. Yeah. Um, so there will be a stream tomorrow night um, of the drunk baking stream, which was also a reward of crew member. Yeah. Taking place in a kitchen. A kitchen. So um, we're going to make a, a fruit cake, and it'll be fucking terrible. Yeah. Well, there's no such thing as a good fruit cake. That's true. It'll be fine and I think maybe fun. We'll see. Uh, but I just I'm assuming to let you guys it'll be fun. I will be live tomorrow, just so you're aware. Yeah. With my friend Rue. Yeah, with our good friend Rue, uh Takuno might also be there. I don't know. He might be. I'm ass I'm assuming he will be. Ace asking a question, how much are we in subs? Uh, we're actually at six eleven. Yeah, we are six eleven. So Yeah. We technically did do all the goals, but then I added a special final one, but we won't make it. So it's fine. Yeah, it ain't happening. And I could stop getting death threats from the rest of the team. Yeah, of everyone saying, no, we didn't agree to the Swazi. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you promise this? Yeah, it's fun. We have fun here. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matt Quacker saying, is that frog with hat? Yeah, this is a frog with hat. I decided yeah, look at it. It's a frog with a, hat. I decided it was going to be a wizard hat. I hey, thought a little tiny... hard for a whole 2, 0 .2 seconds about what a hat would be. He's a tiny little wizard man. You're saying frogs can't be can't be fucking wizards? Yeah, he can't. I didn't say that. No, frogs can absolutely be wizards. That's a very amphibious of you. I, but why are you why are you accusing <laughs> me of things? I don't know. What, why why would you be Because so I'm mad about prep rally. You're mad that you're wrong? I have to call somebody smarter than you. What? Why? Because I, I feel I'm right. I feel this one, I'm more closer to right than, I, than I've ever been. Well, you're only off by a letter instead of thinking it's a completely different word, so that's good. Well, no, but every time I thought this, this made sense. Like, valid Victorian makes sense. I mean... Don't fuck a Lavinia me for this. No? No? I, I don't, it is Wazzy, it's pep rally. Kai, uh, Kai's saying Wazzy, no. Uh, I can explain uh, all my logics, and they are fucking... And they make sense. You wonder why it's not because of how s much sense I make. You know what? I'm going to quickly Google why is it called a pep rally? Oh, because it's pep rally is a meeting to inspire enthusiasm because pep is a word for vigor or energy. Yeah, that's what I said. Prep rally. You're getting ready. No, pep. Prep. Pep. To, a meeting to inspire enthusiasm or to inspire pep. Mm. Matt Crack was also saying, why pep? That's not a word. Pep is totally a word. Yeah, pep isn't a word. Pep is a word. Yeah, but nobody uses it. People use prep all the time. I mean, yes, but people use pep. Matt mm -hmm. is saying, use pep in a sentence without a rally? Okay, I have some pep in my step. Remember how I said you guys shouldn't talk to me unless it's an emergency? Remember, yeah. you guys remember when I said that like 10 minutes ago? About yeah, but what? was it? Do you know? Do you not remember how good crew is at following instructions? Oh, shit. You're right. They do suck it in. <laughs> Sorry, crew. I hate to throw you under the bus, but you guys do definitely don't listen to Wazzy. You do. I, do, I do realize how. Don't. You do, <laughs> I also realize how shitty that sentence is, but it's still technically correct. <laughs> you do definitely don't. You do definitely don't listen. <laughs> As Jane said, yeah, we yeah, we deserve it. 
Uh, Snake and Snake, uh, I see you asking in chat. Uh, we have not watched season two of Inside Job at all yet. Yes, not yet. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't had a chat. We haven't started watching it just because, like, I had twelve hours of stream to do. Man, and, man, I was live for twelve whole hours, and I got fucking concussed by an egg. Who do you got concussed? I'm pretty sure I got concussed by an egg. It fucking hurt. And Closer Brony asking if you've seen a new episode of Spy Family. We're actually like two or three episodes behind on that. No, because Tuesdays are for Chainsaw Man. Yeah, we just haven't given ourselves the time to watch Spy Family or catch up on Spamily. I'm just a little crew. I'm just a little we, guy. We have many things that we do, and we just don't always. We don't always get to all the things. There's so many things to do. Breezy's saying, I'm half paying attention. Is that a frog in a witch hat? It is a frog in a hat. <laughs> it's a frog in a hat. Uh, you guys gotta get a frog in a hat. You guys are saying, no, it's okay. It's true. You expected us to listen to her. Uh, Crusher is here saying, hey, I'm the best at following instructions when I want to. Look at There's a frog in a hat. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that fucking adorable? Fuck you. Yeah, look at the adorable frog in a hat. Nick Snake saying Spy Family's overrated. Oh, it's okay to have wrong opinions too, I guess. It's okay to be wrong. Yeah, you're allowed <laughs> to be wrong, Snake. It's all good. Uh, Miles saying the part, uh, season two inside jo- part of season two inside job I saw was just as underwhelming as the first season. Not worth it. Oh, teach their own. And yeah, uh, Breezy's just saying I I care about this frog. It is a good frog. It is a good frog. Iconic also giving it a ten out of ten. A Zangoose in a Christmas hat. Crusher asking, did Wazi Jaraku be boxing over a hospital bed? Yes, that yeah, art did. did come up. I did do that. Don't worry, all the art will be up in the Discord after. Yeah. You know where to find it, the art when you want the art. Yeah, it's... yeah you know you know where to go. You, we, you don't need we do, you don't need to be told. None I know, of you, you here. Know. This is not any of your first times here. I've seen all of you here before. So quote, oh man, I got a piss, but I also want these nachos. I don't remember saying that, Coffee. That doesn't seem like uh, something I would say. Oh, that's definitely something you would say. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember saying that. I, I think you were saying in context of like a story. I don't, I don't even remember talking about that. I I remember that. I, that was on a stream think, that I was on. I think you that guys... Was on, sometimes I think you guys just make up quotes and attribute them to me. Even though that was on crazy. November 16th, so that was a Wednesday art stream. Oh, I don't stream on Wednesdays. Well, that quote was made on 16-11-2022, which was a Wednesday. Mm. Which is weird. Mm. That's... Wait... Wednesday the 16th. Yeah, um, see, that seems fake. That seems fake. That's not even a time I stream. I'm getting deep, deep faked up in here. I'm getting deep I'm, faked. Somebody I'm going to double check your VODs. Election. Stop I'm double checking your VODs. Stop the election. I'm getting deep faked. How can I... How do I get to your VODs? I don't... I, I recognize that you're live, but I don't want to look at your live. I want to look at pre- previous videos. It there we go. It would be gone by now. It should be up on the other one. The 16th? That was less than two weeks ago. Yeah, when I didn't stream on Wednesdays. All November, I've been streaming on Tuesdays, or on Thursdays. Also, the one from Get Off Me, You Dinky Grabbing Ghost Idiot, that does sound real. That one that one I could probably say I did. Oh, yeah, that was in Fatal Frame. That You absolutely, and, 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 and also say, absolutely in Fatal every, Frame. Every day Twitch doesn't ban me, I'm going to draw a dinky. That also, yeah, that also seems like something you, I did say. You've said that in like 15 streams. Yeah. According to stream schedule on Discord, you streamed the 15th and 17th. So yeah, the 16th. Yeah, that quote, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting deep faked up in here. Oh, that's weird. Also, uh, They're stretch and me. hydrate. Fuck, listen, I'm getting, listen, I got b- cyber bullied by bots. I'm getting fucking deep faked in quotes. <laughs> uh, quote number 100. I do indeed have the booty from I Fatal do, Frame. I do indeed. Miles saying advice on hangover recovery. I'm probably going to need it soon. Ah, so is Wazzy after on Thursday. Um, Lay down and try not to use your brain. 
Lots of water. Lots of water. Also, uh, I believe earlier up, oh, yeah, Rear said uh, they're heading out but not to go to work because they're sick, so they're going to go lay down. Oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Also, quote number 69 is nothing but hot vampires out here from when you were playing Blood Rain. That's also true. <laughs> Random quote from uh, Rocker saying, maybe you should learn to appreciate the taste of piss. That was just from that was that was from Sunday. You heard it for you. Not only is Rocky a slut, but he also likes piss. <laughs> don't don't call Rocky a piss boy. Maybe well, maybe he shouldn't be a piss boy. Uh, Kai asking how many quotes are there again? Uh, Lots. Uh, at least a hundred. Many. <laughs> yeah. Also, Sarlad is uh, gonna go sleep and saying good night. Good night. Oh no, I'm modless. I'm here. I'm the one who banned the bot. Yeah, but you didn't ban everybody else when I said ban everybody else. Because no. Sometimes I know when you're being a cruel test bot. Mm. Like Princess Peach. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes you're cruel. Am I, though? Sometimes. Uh... Quote 129 of Wazzy, the earlier you suck, the less people expect of you. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's totally something I uh, said. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit, yeah, I said that. Yeah. Also, Kakashi saying, alternatively, just learn to like pineapple. Just, fuck you. No, it's gross. Just do, just do the opposite of what you did with mint. Mm. Uh, Kakashi saying, are you finally accepted that it's Christmas time? I mean, Definitely. December 1st is literally in two days. Yeah. Like. I was actually going to make it a black Christmas hat. Like what? This this weekend we're probably going to put up our tree. We What? No. I thought we were. We, we talked about this. No. Oh. Christmas. I'm sorry that Christmas happens. Oh, God, not this... Ah, oh, shit, here we go again. Yeah, and we're going to do our our, our 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 main Christmas tradition. That's true. Our one Christmas tradition, every year we buy an ornament for the tree. Yes. We buy or make one. Yes. Because you're saying, yes, I agree. It's not Christmas time, it's Halloween season for the next 11 months. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Mm. Uh, rant, oh, quote 86 from was Yeah, that every time I have to defend myself from you guys, even though I'm aggressively right. Oh, that sounds like something I'd say. Yeah, I don't want to get my butthole stabbed while my arms are in the air. Uh, that doesn't sound like something I'd say. You said it in Dead Space. Mm. In Dead Space, it makes sense because your butthole was probably going to get stabbed while your arms are in the air. Oh, that does sound like something that does happen to me sometimes. Especially in Dead Space. Yeah. So, so I was kind of saying one single ornament. I mean, yeah. yeah, one single ornament per year that like that we've done this tradition, which that is a, just a, like the generic ones, because there's like, of course, like the generic Christmas balls and shit. We yeah, we, one we get like a, one special yeah. ornament. Yeah, we actually don't use like Christmas balls or any of that shit. We have so many special ornaments. We use all those. Yeah. Uh, Crush is saying, oh, boy, here we go. Christmas, Christmas in again. <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, Icy Jane saying, I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the monster mash. <laughs> uh, Mysterious Phoenix is heading out. Have a good night, Mysterious Phoenix. Bye, Mysterious Phoenix. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Uh, Cause of Burning saying, so I tried Dead Space. It was phenomenal fun. Had nightmares that night, then uninstalled. <laughs> yeah, see? Thank you. Somebody respects yeah. me out here. Uh, Kakashi saying, yeah, like the special Hallmark ornaments that are like Pokemon or The Legend of Zelda. I love those things. I need. We need to find a Hallmark store because that's usually where like the, the fun, the really fun ones are. Sometimes. A lot, a lot of years, like, I remember the last couple of years you go by the shops and it's always like, oh, hey, do you want some, like, some peanuts? Some fucking Charles Schultz peanuts for an ornament? I'm like, no. No, I don't. Are, are you there? Yeah, I am. I'm concentrating on being mad. Sorry, I just, I just heard you got real quiet. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm did concentrating I, did... on being mad. 
Um, well, okay, fair enough. What are you mad about? I, I gotta get in the mood to draw this Zangus. Oh, you're being angry for Zangi. <laughs> yeah. That's how you get in the mood to draw Zangus. You gotta focus you, you, up you, on being real mad. Yeah, because Zangus is perpetually angry. I just caught a Zangus in, uh, in Violet recently. Oh. And I know you I and I, we've been doing the... Virgin, uh, virgin, fuck, not virgin. Virgin exclusives. Uh, they might be, but I caught my Seviper in a, in a terror raid. Okay. Because I caught my I, Zangoose out in the wild and my Seviper in a raid. So I don't know see, which I, is true anymore. I did the same thing. I, maybe neither of them are. Mm -hmm. Maybe neither of them are version exclusive. Actually, let me... You know what I'll do? I'll just Google. Scarlet Violet version exclusives. There, can't be it'll, be nice and, it'll be nice to know what you and I have to trade... For each other. Can't be a Christmas hat if it's the wrong colors. <laughs> yeah, it can be. You've never had a green Christmas hat? Well, not if it's just backwards. What if, yeah, can't be a Christmas hat. If it's yellow and blue. Ha! Ha! Beat you Yeah, that, that's game. a little weird. That's a little weird. <laughs> How do you like that? Let's see. Uh, the stuff that's exclusive to you is the firefighting Tauros. Mm -hmm. uh, the Larvitar line, Drifloon line, Stunky, uh, Dino line, Skrelp and Dragulge, Orin Guru, Stone Journer. And then, of course, all of the uh, all of the Paradox Pokemon that are past ones. And then Armor Rouge and Coridon. That's good to know. Oh, Dreepy's exclusive to me. I love Dreepy. Dreepy's a good little boy. Dreepy. Yeah. Uh, Chris is saying, this is actually my first Christmas that I'm actually celebrating. It's not as sad as it sounds. I'm Jewish. Oh. Why are you not doing Hanukkah then? Yeah. Or are you doing both? Oh, that sounds dope. Both. Oh, yes. What are you celebrating? What are you celebrating for the holidays? Yes. <laughs> All of it. All of it. I'm doing everyone. Yeah. Maximizing presents. Yeah. Pressure doing both. Uh, also, we have a bad, that bad joke request from Crusher. Oh, damn. A bad joke. Well, I've got one for you. H hit him. Ahem. The king says Ahem. to his squire, how many volunteers do we have for my evil army? The squire replies, 384, my liege. The king goes, wonderful, round them up. The squire goes, 400, my liege. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> math joke. That's a dumb math joke. I love that. Also, I was just double checking something, Wazzy. Yes. Because we, because you were talk, we were talking about you know what you want to do for your second mega stream. Yes. And how you wanted to do it on a Saturday. Yes. That would mean that it would be the Saturday to the tenth. Okay. Unfortunately, our original plan of doing Crisis Core for that can't work because Crisis Core comes out on the thirteenth. Okay. What are you getting at? I'm just, I'm just saying. We might need to do something else for your mega stream. Okay. I don't know. Just bring it up. Sorry. I should have brought it up later. Oh, I thought you were implying I have to do something else for it. Well, yeah, <laughs> like, you do have to do something well, else yeah, for but, it. but, like, I thought you had something in mind you wanted done. Oh, God, no. No, I have no idea. Um, I am going to draw Naruto in um, Naruto's um, outfit for the concert, getting an autograph from Poops. Because did someone re did someone request that? Yeah, Sour Lad requested something from the fanfic. So oh, something funny from the fanfic. Okay, for a second, I'm like someone asked for that specifically, and I missed it. No, no, so Sour Lad just said, oh. "Can I get something from the fanfic?" And I was like, "Okay." I would have been freaked out if I missed that. Like how? <laughs> I uh, Crusher saying more uh, monster road trip. We should do more monster road trip until we win. Let's put it on easy so we can win. <laughs> we should win. We should. We. I'd love we to win, win Monster Road Trip. I would just like to win one time. 
which means you can't one... play, Matt. Hey, hey, if we go on easy, I could probably survive. Maybe. You'll probably survive. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, that's a... So yeah, that's that might not that might work. Twenty year old zoomers are thinking that's terrifying, and I'm one. Okay, fair. I mean that that tracks. Already, they're allowing I mean, you people to age. Yeah, who did that? Who let you do that? That sounds illegal. Uh, first you said I got to go play more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That one's good. Odyssey was a lot of fun. Almost exclusively for Sparta kicking people off of things. And the fact that they called it the Sparta kick. But that's not uh, the one where you're in Sparta. Yeah. Hmm? But that's not the Assassin's Creed where you're in Sparta. Yeah, it is. Oh. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is in Greece. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Odyssey is in Greece and there's origins in Egypt and man shit i don't know anymore there's like nineteen thousand assassin's creeds there's like uh, and apparently there's a new one coming out it's called there's... assassin's creed mirage i think there's half as many assassin's creed as they are pokemon and you expect me to remember all the names of the goddamn things i don't even remember the names of any of the new pokemon because i'm just like shit there's so many yes yeah honestly assassin's creed because they were putting one out annually and then they started going way down in quality and they're like maybe we should stop making them annually so they did. All right. What did Naruto wear for the camp concert? Uh, I don't remember. Late brown lace up high heel boots with rip magenta fishnets and a le white leather mini dress with co a corset stuff on the front and back. And then he also had fishnets on his lips. I forgot he had fishnets on his lips. Oh, oh that sounds terrible. It sounds deeply uncomfortable. I don't know how one does that, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, quote, quote from the, was uh, Matt Quaker actually pulled a quote from the reading of the, uh, uh, of the fanfic. This is, my friend Wazzy woke up and then fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey now, you're an all-star. Yeah. Get your game on. Go play. Yeah. Breezy saying, uh, what about apple bottom jeans and boots with the fur? With the fur. <laughs> uh, BMC's here saying hello. What's up, BMC? Hi, BMC. How you doing? Perfect. Sketch layer done. That was a very complex sketch layer. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to that. <laughs> Especially with whoops here to give Naruto... Yeah, Poops is giving Naruto their autograph. Because Poops is in the Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Oh, Miles is heading out. Have a good one, Miles. Bye, Miles. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Man, everyone's just... Everyone's partying with these goats. There's some good ones in here. We're gonna... Uh, I don't remember saying any of these. I'm getting deep faked. Uh, I don't know. This one seems like a wazzy thing to say. I don't know anything about American Thanksgiving except you all trample retail workers to death on Fridays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did say that. I also yeah. said I also said um, that American Thanksgiving is just like Canadian Thanksgiving, except we don't have to sleep over in the Best Buy parking lot. Yeah, which is an also true statement. That's true. I At know no point it's do we so have much to worry of a about true statement that I told my mom that joke and she laughed. My mom doesn't laugh at any of my fucking jokes. That's how I know that one's a legitimate true statement. Yeah. And Quacker needs to go get tea. Yeah, go get some tea. Have a sippy. Uh, snake throwing quotes of stop things into things that I don't like that from Dead Space. I don't remember saying that either. I don't remember any of this. I don't know any of you people. What are you doing in my house? Uh, we're just, you know, hanging out. Being cool, guys. Okay. Oh, Ace is apparently stealing our chips. Bitch. Um, you son of a bitch. You chip-stealing motherfucker. Okay, crew. You're part of any band. Which band are you a part of? Any 
any band you want. You can play any instrument. You don't need to have talent to do it. Uh. You just you 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 can join whatever band you want. Yeah, Ace says the Beatles. So what? So you can replace Ringo? System of the Down on the Triangle. <laughs> Okay, imagine Chop Suey, but played it exclusively on a triangle. That would be awesome. Breezy saying Silk Sonic. I've not heard of Silk Sonic. Uh, Nikki Six saying All Star. That's a song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good try. That's a song, buddy. <laughs> that, that, that's very much the Patrick Star that is mayonnaise an instrument. <laughs> My mom keeps asking when I'll get married, but how am I supposed to find a good man in this economy? Uh, at the Valley Village. Yeah, yeah, you could get a good man down at the Valley Village. Yeah, a good, like, hand-me-down man. A a hand-me-down. Hand hand Hand-me-man. <laughs> slight, gently used man. Get yourself yeah. a good, gently used man down at the, down at the Valu Village. Yeah. Uh, oh, Silk Sonic is Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars. Oh, good to know. Uh, Kikashi ever said Imagine Dragons? Well, no, I asked you about a band. I don't want to Imagine Dragons right now. We're asking about bands. Yeah, I was asking about a band. Yeah, what are you talking about, Kikashi lover? I mean, I can imagine dragons. Dragons are great, but like, I, I think I think that did that joke hit? No. You think it hit, Wazzy? No, I really don't. Oh. If I, I could be part of any band, I would want to be part of Lincoln Park. Why Lincoln Park? Because I'm always crawling in my skin. See, I thought you were gonna say that. Uh... In the end, does it even matter what band oh, I'm in? That's true. That's true. Well, it always starts with one thing. <laughs> and I don't know. Uh, I can't say, I can't say who's growing, joining Crush 40. Mm. Uh, I can't say that's going to be the same joke, Max, so I laughed. Uh, Breezy, I can only imagine. Mad <laughs> Quaker. Oh, yes, my, my favorite band, Picture Lizards. <laughs> oh, yes. Unfictional Lizards. Acing, let's just join Nickelback. Oh, fuck, crew. Okay, crew, that's it. Crew, we're starting a band. I know. Listen, hi, I'm Wazzy of the Dinky Foundation. Um, I know we've had a lot of get-rich-quick schemes in the past, but hear me out. We're going to start a Nickelback cover band. All right? We will be called Quarter Returned. Um, and we are gonna, we're gonna go on tour and we're gonna become better than Nickelback themselves. And then we'll get all that sweet Nickelback money, right? And then we can use that to funnel that money into all of our other schemes. I, I mean, that, that could work. That, that could. Also, oh, Snake's asking, can I be gacked? Uh, I don't know. Did you Theoretic- get apple juice? Did you? Yeah. Did 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 Final Fantasy version of you create apple juice? Yeah. Uh, because that that's kind of important. Uh oh, Breezy's saying I become the ship AMV queen herself, Cascada. Oh my god, you're right. But I still hear your voice when you sleep next to me. Did you know that? Oh man, let's For- be- forgive me my reasons, but I don't know why. Wait, no, I want to be Captain Jack. If I get to be a DDR band guy, I want to be Captain Jack. I want to come out with two bangers of a song and then fade into obscurity. He had more than two. Diddy. I'm very Diddy. sure he had... I'm... You know what? Name name three Captain Jack songs. Uh, Dream a Dream. that were bangers. Uh, Dream a Dream, Captain Jack... Uh, let me look at the singles. Uh, <laughs> see, you can't, you can't. He did a really good cover of Centerfold, a really good cover of In the Navy. Those are covers. He did mostly covers by the looks of things. Listen. Apparently he did a cover of Another One Bites the Dust. Mm. Did you know that Captain Jack, the song Captain Jack actually originally came out in 1995? Oh. No, I didn't. It hit number one on the Netherlands charts. The Uh, Dutch top 40. 
Yeah, it had never won on the Dutch top 40. Well, okay, okay, Dutch. You know, it hit number three in the German top 40. I don't know what they do over there. So you know what? They're allowed to have a little bit of fun. They're allowed, yeah. to, they're allowed to have a freaky little guy do some freaky little dances. Yeah. Mad Quacker saying hashtag quarter return tour will be lit, y'all. Oh, Iconic says yeah. we won't make that much money. We will at most get a nickel back. Hey. Listen, we're obviously going to have to spend some money on expenses and stuff and some guitar lessons for us. Does any of us know how to play instruments? I am obviously uh, band manager, so I get 98% of the cut as band manager. Yeah, that sounds about right. One of you needs to fucking suck it up and beat Chad Kroger. Oh, that's rough. One of you, you I'm sorry, one of you's got to take it for the team. And get that ramen noodle hair. One of you's got to ramen noodle your hair. Oh, and Iconic Boy actually has a solid point about uh, being known for only for your covers. Hmm. Three words, alien ant farm. Fuck, I love Alien Ant Farm. For their one, for their for one, their song, one song, the cover of Smooth Criminal. Yeah, they did a really good cover, Smooth of uh, Smooth Criminal. What's the hate about that? It, can you name any original single or any original song at all of theirs? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. That's not by Alien Ant Farm. I mean, it could be. It's definitely not. And Breezy's saying, that was the first time I heard Smooth Criminal, actually. They did a great cover. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I that actually, happens with songs. Sometimes a, a cover comes out and you're like, wait a minute. This is a cover? <laughs> you didn't write uh, this shit? Fun fact, and it, I, I don't know if you or anyone crew knows this. You know that song Torn by Natalie and Brulia? That was like a friggin' I'm all out of faith. This is how I feel. It was like in a whole bunch of fucking like, uh, fucking anti drug commercials and shit. Mm, yes. Yes, that song is a cover. Oh. Huh. You wouldn't know it, but that song's a fucking cover. Huh. Like, it, there's a whole bunch of songs it's like you you wouldn't realize that they're covers, but they are. There's uh, that nothing compares to you. That was everyone knows is from Sinead O'Connor. It was actually orig originally written by Prince for a, like a side band that Prince was doing, and it was recorded by them. But no one fucking knows about that. They only know when Sinead O'Connor covered it. Did you know "Toxic" by Britney Spears was originally written for Janet Jackson? Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I feel like you've told me that, but I forgot. But like. It was written for her, and then it was given to somebody else, and then it was, and then again, and then it was given to Britney. Because you're talking. So you know, that makes sense. Yeah, and uh, Iconic's saying, interesting, uh, free, fun facts. Iconic wants a fake fact, though. Oh. They redeemed one, even. Well, then, luckily for you, I have a fake fact for you. Did you know... Mm hmm. All Uber drivers have killed at least one squirrel. That doesn't sound like a fake fact, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's that's super real. I like that. Oh, that's, that's very close. Yeah, Ace wants you to hydrate as well. Thank you, Ace. I got excited. Thanks, Wazzy. Oh, and Bree Breezy's saying the way that Mad World by Gary Jules is a cover. Yeah, that one's a cover of a uh, Tears for Fear song. It's an objectively better cover, actually. <laughs> yeah, other another song that I know Wazzy likes and I despise. That did, did you know that uh, "Girls Just Want to Have Fun" by Cyndi Lauper was actually a cover? Why don't you like that song? I just don't like it. What's wrong? Well, I, I like the song up until it gets to the last chunk. Where it's just the same four, it's just the title repeatedly for like two minutes. But that's all they really want. Yeah, they just want to have fun and sing about just wanting to have fun for two minutes. And I'm just like, are you done yet? But Ace saying I'm with Matt, I hate that song too. And Breezy <laughs> saying yeah, the Gary Jules version of Mad World is better. It, yeah, it's, it is objectively a superior song. Uh...
Uh, I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett is a cover. So, but, but, but put another dime in the jukebox, baby. They had jukeboxes back then. And dimes. We have dimes. Yeah, but they specifically yeah. had things that cost dimes. Oh, yeah, nothing costs a dime anymore. Nothing that's true, costs yeah. a dime anymore. You go out in the real world with a whole dime, and you're like, oh, boy, I can't wait to do absolutely dick all with this. I can't wait to scratch a scratchy ticket, a scratchy lottery ticket with this, because that's all a dime's good for these days. <laughs> Maybe I will get enough money to fucking actually buy something. Yeah. Dick, I mean, dick all with a dime. Might, might be able to buy that more. used to be able to buy you two whole candies. Yeah, I remember when we got nickel candies. Uh, A saying, what can I get with a nickel? Nothing. Uh, ab- less than nothing. Because di- a dime will get you nothing. Yeah, if a dime a nickel will get you half of nothing. It gets you half of dick all. A half dick all. Half dick all. I yeah. don't know if it's the top half or the bottom half or if it goes lengthwise. I don't know how they they split their dick alls. Yeah, like I, vertically, horizontally. But either way, you don't want to find out. You really don't. You never want to find out. All right. Anyway, here's a here's a a scene from our from Cruz. Very from my crew mortal. From yeah, from my crew mortal, the hottest fucking um fanfic in the land. Um, here's Poops, um, giving their autograph to Naruto. Um, as they are on a date with Yellow Swag King. Um, I f- yeah, I forget how I forget how Naruto had their hair that day and their eyeliner. Uh, I did too. I didn't. I didn't fucking read that much. Um, but yeah. yeah, I think that's pretty much time. Uh, let's yeah, go we're, ba- we're basically at time. Let, that we'll go through the art, and I'll put all the art in the Discord as uh, as is appropriate um, for you guys. Anyway, here's Naruto getting um, an autograph from Poops, um, at the star of the Backstreet Boys. Uh, here's a Zane Goose, it's totally not a Christmas hat. It's totally not a Christmas hat. Um, here's a frog in a hat. Just a little frog. Not froggy, just a frog. Uh, yeah, it's just a frog. It doesn't have to be froggy. Here's here's me dying um, and Raku beatboxing. Raku, I'm dying. <laughs> Please stop beatboxing. <laughs> um, here is um, Crouton. Biting the butt of evil lettuce from our Nuzlocke. Oh, not evil lettuce. Uh, here's the anti-isekai squad. Uh, having some drinks. And the child gets appy juice. Oh, an apple juice. Uh, here's uh, Dracula Cockroach. And uh, here's my warm-up art of, uh, you know, some bad times. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm sorry, Mario. Um, that, that, that's more of a Mario voice, though. It, the, isn't Luigi's voice? Ah, but it's Mario. Hey, I'm a Nassari Mario. Also, I didn't draw Dinky today. I'm really sorry. It seems like Twitch hasn't banned me yet. So what? Yeah, so you should probably get just a just a Dinky in there. There's a little Dinky in there. There you go, everybody. There's a Dinky for a treat. Um, Yeah, let's go fucking raid somebody. Yeah, let's, um, let's go... F- Punch a guy directly in the face. Uh, Lib is live. I know, but Lib is probably near ending. Knowing Lib. Yeah. Knowing mine and Lib's schedules. I'm very aware of Lib's schedule. Sometimes they go a little bit later than me, but other times they, they pack up right around I do. Um. Ooh, I have a yeah. whole bunch of people live. Oh, yeah, you got a schwack. I've got a schwack load. Um, a smorgasbord, even. A smorgasbord, even. Perhaps. Uh, Lotsy is live. Let's go raid them. We're gonna, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go raid them. This is the person. If you guys remember, um, Extra Life this year. This is the guy that made the model of me. I think. I think I'm like eighty percent sure. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, Maybe? I think so. I think this is the one. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go raid them. They're doing VR chat. Um, let's go fucking hang out with them and uh, be fucking nice and normal, everybody. Be fucking normal. Don't go in there and talk about um how much you want to be in the band. Uh, quarter re- returned the quarter returned the the Nickelback sequel band. 
Um, just fucking or be, quarter change. Quarter change. Don't be go. Don't be going in there saying how much you want to be part of quarter changed. Okay. Fucking be normal. All right. We love and appreciate you guys. Um, but only vaguely. Uh, I, I I appreciate you guys openly, not even vaguely. I'll see you all tomorrow when I'll be incredibly drunk, incredibly grossly yeah, well, even. I don't worry, I will be supervising. Yes, Matt will be there to supervise, but I will be grossly drunk. Anyway, get the fuck out of my house. Love bye. you. Bye. <laughs>